I hope all is well with you. So we'll be using our food or smartphone code using a speak editor app. So we're gonna start from scratch. I already have some boilerplate code created. So we're gonna start with the index at HTML file to host our boilerplate HTML code. Um, yeah. Well, this I'm not gonna work with this default <laughs> HTML code. Let's cut it out. Go to my notes. Alright, go back to the speak editor up and paste it in. Um, Alright, so as you can see, it's working. So we're gonna go to the style of CSS page to put in the um a boilerplate CSS code the style of our page. Alright, so I'm gonna go to, back to my notes and copy and paste if there's any, but working from memory, I'm gonna target a body of the page and give it a margin of zero and a padding of zero. And let's create a folder just to store our files and call it database config well connection um let me see maybe the name is too long right. let's create inside that folder a database um php file And copy and paste from our notes database config.php. Alright, these are your database credentials. Alright, this is called a config for now. Right, let's copy all of this paste it all right so we're not using any password only the database username and database host name which is local host and the username is root the password is an empty string there's nothing and we won't be using or no, any database name for this tutorial because we won't be creating a database we're just gonna connect to it the database so we're going to connect to the database using the MySQLI underscore connect function, PHP function, and that's it. That's all you need to connect to a database by using, by calling that function with those arguments. All right, so we're going to import that PHP file, PHP script. Um, So by using the include function, um, it takes an argument by using the file part. Um, so we're going to start with the folder database config, config slash database config.php. And this will import the database connection. And that's how they do it.
I'm not sure that matters, but um, uh, let's just be safe. All right, so to rename the index file the, that PHP to make sure that it supports PHP code as well. Um, 